Hey, hey, it's your girl Jess Bree coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell. I think I don't even think I have a notification bell. <laughs> yes, sorry, y'all. So it's been a minute. Um, and I've been a little frustrated, a little um, feeling a little out of my element. Um, really discouraged about my use of the word um but i'm going to get past that okay okay <laughs> I've, been watching, I've been watching the parkers on netflix for like three days in a row straight um there we go see so i got a couple of, i wanted to do a story a story time I'm never going to go to this channel if I'm not consistent. Let's be very clear. So, the plan is to just start putting out content. And um, hopefully by within the next year or two, I'll have maybe you know, a few thousand subs. I don't know. So, this story time, and I'm congested too, so I'm going to try to get through this. So this story time is about one of my worst dates. I think my only worst date, actually. So here it goes. So I was dating. So I went out with this guy who was a really handsome guy. And it's so funny because I was telling a friend of mine this story and I had her cracking up. <laughs> So I met this guy, Some I don't even know where I met him, but he was really cute. And to be honest, he wasn't really my type because he was so cute. I personally, I don't, I know this sounds like an oxymoron, but, or whatever the word is. I don't have a type, but he wasn't necessarily my type because I prefer, I guess I prefer darker dark skin man he was very light skin um and written pretty and really handsome and i don't really prefer that because i don't want nobody looking better than me <laughs> i don't want nobody i don't want no man i don't want my man being in the mirror longer than me put it that way so um so I met him wherever I met him, maybe at the club or somewhere. This was in my earlier 20s. So, talked on the phone a couple times. I'm not sure how in-depth the conversation was. But, um, so we set up a, a time and day to go out to eat. So, he came to pick me up, which I personally do not. Now that I'm older, I don't recommend that. I feel like on a first date in this day and time. And not that to say it wasn't... Not to talk about, say that... It, not to bring up killers or anything like that, but um, just that today, because most people had their own vehicle, um... And you can avoid somebody coming at your coming to your house, knowing where you live, right away. At least, anyway, I suggest meeting up at a place personally. But anyway, this guy came and picked me up, and um, and I'm talking about for first date, first and second date. <laughs> so he came and picked me up from my house, and we went to this restaurant. Or not even really a restaurant. It was like a step above. It wasn't a diner. It was like. um, Kind of like. Let's say. A Greek. A, a Greek restaurant. Or something. Not not exactly a diner. You know. But not any. Not nothing upscale. Or anything like that. Just, you know, a, a nice little spot um, to 
get something to eat on a first date, you know, whatever. So, I really didn't have any expectations um, as far as who would pay. To, um, I don't even think I really thought about it because it wasn't that big a deal. I mean, to me anyway. Um, well, no, I take that back. I mean, okay, so put it like this. I think we both agreed because we both agreed to go out or whatever. I didn't really have an expectation, I guess. I don't know. Typically, I do not pay for my own dates. Let me, or my, or the first, my, on my first dates. Let me be very clear. Um, but what I will do is give a tip. First, second, third date, whatever. Um, and I do pretend to go in my purse and pull out some money. That's just something that, you know, I think most women should do. (laughs) At least. Um, I don't know. I guess that could be considered um, being um, a little deceitful. But shit, if I got to pay, you know, I got the money. But anyway, um, I guess just to give off the impression that, you know, to see or no, to see if the man will say, oh, no, I got it. You know, I don't want you to pay for anything. Right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I know I'm something crazy. But so anyway, we go out to eat. We go out. To, well, we I shouldn't say we because actually I'm the only one that orders something. Right. So I order my food and this food order a water. So, so while we were there and I'm eating my food, he's like talking and it sounds like want, 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 <laughs> And he's talking about, I remember, because this is so long ago, like at least 15 years ago, my son is 13. So he, I remember him talking about boxing and he was talking about himself. He did not ask me a damn question about me, right? Now, but just, okay. So, won't, 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 won't. <laughs> so, when I finish my food, now, mind you, this nigga, or, okay, I know I'm, a, I'm about to get a little vulgar in my language. I try not to use this language, but um, it just helps me to, I guess, process the situation better I don't know or to get it out better anyway so this n-word nigga gonna say (laughs) he gonna ask me for my food right he gonna say uh what did he say he was like can I get a bite after he drank his water right (laughs) so I was like I'm like okay Sure. So he started, he was eating my leftovers. I swear to God, I can't remember specifically. I just know that he asked me, could he get the rest of it or something? <laughs> and so I came into him. And I think, and we had to be close. We were closer in age. Cause I, and another thing is I date older guys that I usually date are typically 10 years older than me or more. He just randomly happened to be closer to my age. And so by a few years, always older than me, never younger. So let's say I was like 23. He was had to be, he might have been like 25, 26. So anyway, um, so he ate my food, ate the rest of my food, and at this particular restaurant, for whatever reason, I guess we didn't have a waitress, I don't know, we go to stand, we had to go to stand in line and pay. So he, mind you, he gets up and gets in front of me in the line. So I'm thinking, I should have walked, 
I should have walked and went to the bathroom or something. Shit, I don't know, think about it. But I stood behind him, you know, waiting, assuming that he was going to pay. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you when it came my turn, our turn, this nigga slid over to the side like the electric slide, child. I, see, I was like, okay. Now, mind you, I got pictures. I didn't already, I didn't put out a couple of, you know, pictures of me and I can share some more. I was cute. I was at least, I was at least a, a six, adjustable six, honey, on Kevin Samuel's <laughs> <laughs> if you go by Kevin Samuel scale now, bitch, I was at least an adjustable sex, okay? I was cute, okay? So, but this nigga slid to the side like he was doing a damn electric slide. And I paid for my own food, right? So, I'm already after the whole conversation that he had by himself. I was like, okay, this strike two, bitch. I said, this strike two. I said, um, yeah, so I'm keeping score in my head now. So we leave out. Now, pay close attention and keep this in mind. <laughs> As we leave out, he grabs my hand to hold my hand and walk to the car. So we get in his car. And we drive he um to the other side of town to go get some um gas. Now for my listeners who um if you listening from Buffalo, the restaurant was somewhere on Hurdle and I still be looking for that restaurant. I'm like, where the fuck was that we were eating at? But I I can't I'm not sure which one it was. Or where what location it was. I know it was it wasn't all the way down her though. It was like semi halfway through past show show. But anyway, um somewhere up in there. Okay. So anyway, we we get in the car, we drive to the gas station on ferry and um you know what? <laughs> I live in Buffalo and I don't know. I don't be half knowing these streets. And I've been living in Buffalo all of my life with the exception of, okay, I'm 43 minus, minus five years. <laughs> and I still don't know my way around my city. <laughs> but anyway, what is that ferry in, um, Is the ferry and Delavan? That don't go together. Anyway, that's a damn shame. But anyway, so we were at the gas station. Oh, you know what? It's the gas station on ferry across from the place that used to be, um, used to go to summer camp. It was, um, a summer camp called, uh, through, um, see, I'm going off on a tangent now. St. Vincent de Paul. And we went to a camp called Jacinta. I'm getting off topic. So anyway, the gas station. We're at the gas station. And after he gets his gas, gets the gas, he gets in the car. And I'm in the passenger seat. Oh, my God. I'll never forget this. <laughs> so he gets in the car. And he leans in to kiss me. And I curved him. Because I turned my head and I turned my head like, nigga, I am keeping tabs on your ass. (laughs) So when I tell you this nigga was boiling hot. (laughs) So he turned the car on and he flew out of that um, gas station so fast. I was holding on to my seat for dear life. I said, oh, my God, please don't let this nigga kill us in this car. So he driving like a speed demon to um get to my house, right, or whatever. So I'm just sitting in the car like, I can't believe this is, like, really going on. 
here. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the little guy to come out like he did on Hell Day, right? So we get to my house. Mind you, he didn't help my he he grabbed my hand to hold my hand. He went in to kiss me. I turned my head. So when we get to my house, he drops me off. I get out the car. I didn't really even say anything. Like, I don't know what I said. I might have said thank you, whatever. Like, okay, thank God I'm home now. I get out the car, barely saying anything. Get to my door. It was a hot summer night. I'll never forget. And it was like probably at least like midnight by now. And I get to the front porch door. And this fool going to yell out. You ugly anyway. <laughs> I was like, I just didn't even say nothing. I'm just, I was just quiet. I just opened the door, got in my house, and just was like, oh, God, my nose. I'm like, oh, my God, thank you, Jesus, for getting me home because this fool was crazy. And then I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck you gonna call me ugly? Will you try to will you held my hand, grabbed my hand, and tried to kiss me? And I curved you. <laughs> but okay, I'll be ugly. Just as long as I'm home safe in one piece, nigga, to my daughter. I get on to my daughter safe in one piece. And I I I never heard from his ass again. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe I mentioned him to somebody. And actually, I didn't even say his name, but they knew who he was. But anyway, I can't remember his name or anything. But he was really cute. And he could have got a kiss, but I was like, he could have got all the kisses. But I was like, no, nah, nigga, you can't even pass it. And I'm a cheat day, bitch. <laughs> it don't take much to get a kiss. But you wouldn't even pay for my damn food. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that's my hell date thank you for tuning in and i will be back with another episode all right peace